So it is possible for you to prophesy with the spirit or the inspiration of the spirit of prophecy, but not, not you being in the office of a prophet. Now when I talk about the gift of prophecy, is simply whereby the spirit of God who is the personality, the Holy Spirit, inspires you, inspires you, gives you an information using your five senses. You get inspired and you, you are activated, you are activated, you are encouraged to speak forth because there is somebody who has motivated you. Now, remember that the gift of prophecy, the gift of prophecy, it works, it works, it works with, with time, it works with environment. There are people that can prophesy because of an environment. I'm about to go deeper. You want to hear God? Hey, 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 hey. Do you want to hear God? The way you answer it the way you answer is either I will teach you more or I will begin to cut. You want a full cake? Yes. Can you answer like you want to eat? Yes. <laughs> you want a full cake, eh? Yes. Now, the gift of prophecy works with time. The gift of prophecy works with a, play, with a place and the gift of prophecy, it is not a permanent gift. In another way, it is a borrowed, borrowed gift. Borrowed gift. What I mean is, there are people that prophesy according to an environment. They will just come today, maybe the Holy Spirit has inspired them. They will begin to see something about you and begin to prophesy to you, prophesy to you. By the following day, they can prophesy. They can prophesy. Because the Holy Spirit has got different manifestation. Maybe in that day, the Holy Spirit was manifesting in the gift of prophecy. So by that, the man began to prophesy because of a motivation. So it is possible for you also to prophesy. It is possible for you to prophesy. But uh, you will prophesy... Not in the office, but you will prophesy in the gift. Say the gift. Say the gift. Say the gift. Say the gift. You know, there's a lot of confusion in our time. There are people that are in businesses and they don't know why, they don't know whether the business they are into it is the right business. Why there is a need in the spirit of a person of the voice of God. And without the voice of God, man will continue doubting what he is doing presently. So that's the reason it is very important that I as a prophet, as a father, I must teach you how to hear God. Because not every time I'm going to be there. You're not hearing this. Not every time I'm going to be there. Let me, let me tell you. Prophets, they don't teach how they hear God. Most prophets, they can't teach you. They can't, they can't teach you, I'm telling you. Even if when you buy for them a house. I know others have been praying and say, no, I need a double portion. But let me tell you, you are not receiving a double portion tonight. If you receive a double portion when I'm alive, what are you saying? You are not hearing this. If you receive a double portion when I am alive, what are you saying? So you are saying that you must take over. So the ministry, the minute, that's the reason when, 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 when John the Baptist imparted on Jesus, you hear John dying. Are you listening? So I want you to reach a level where you can hear God. You can make a right decision in a relationship. 
in your circumstance, in your church, in your business, in your company. Making a solid decision or a right decision does not need the involvement of a prophet. That's the reason a lot of people, they have abused the prophet. I refuse to be abused. Now, why am I refusing to be abused? It's because I have the remedy, I have the key in teaching you, in making you how to become exactly like me. Then Jesus said, you follow me and I will. Eh? Which means it's not God making. God, <laughs> God does not train people how to hear him. It is men that God, he has given an assignment to train. Men that have an ability to hear him. They can be able to impart also. So what I'm doing tonight is the work of impartation. Amen. So if you are very serious, you are prophetic, your ears will open tonight. I receive it. Now let's look at the prophetic. When I talk about the prophetic or the word prophetic, it is a terminology that comes, that comes from a word called the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Now the prophetic, it is the spirit of God at work, working in a man, working in a place. And because of that spirit, that spirit has the ability to open up the ears of people to begin to hear what is in the spirit and to begin to see what is in the spirit. And when I talk about the prophetic, the prophetic does not work with timings of men. When I say I am a prophet, which means I have the ability or when I engage myself in the prophetic, in the prophetic, we don't work with timing. In the prophetic, we work outside time. Even before time began, God was in existence. That is prophetic. That is prophetic. The prophetic does not work with time. It does not work. It does not work with time. In another way, even before time clocks, the prophetic goes ahead of time. So when I talk about the prophetic, you must understand that this word operates much in the spirit. That's the reason in the spirit, there is no traveling. You know, you need to travel from you, from your place, from this place to your house. And it will take you hours. But in the spirit, using the prophetic, which is the Holy Ghost, we don't travel. We don't travel. When we use the prophetic who is the Holy Ghost, the personality of God, we don't travel. We appear in places because himself carries us from point A to point B. So in the twinkling of an eye, we appear in places that we don't know. That's the reason I'll be prophesying to you. I'll be like, right now, I am in a place. I see house number so, 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 so. How did I go there? You look at the time. The time I'm speaking to you and the time I went to your place, it was the same time. How did I go there? I used the prophetic. That's the reason if you read the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, the Bible says there is time for everything. Ecclesiastes was not prophetic. Ecclesiastes was not prophetic. If he was there, this man would have shouted at him. He says that there is time for everything. Eh? There is what? There is time for everything. So in another, for you to have mango, it must be in the time of mango. 
or it must be in the season of mango. What about if I want mango in a season that is uh, 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 in a season where there's no mangoes? Does it mean if it is dry season we must not eat mangoes? Uh, 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 uh. You must answer me here. Huh? Does it mean it's because it is October we must not have mares? So the man was saying that there is time for everything. Which means each and every event supernaturally it has a time set. For you to be born spiritually there was a date. I receive. For you to be born, there was a dead spiritual, which means you were born twice. You are not getting this. You have got two birthdays. You, you have got two birthdays. You were born. You were born. You were born, you were born spiritually and physically. That's the reason. Whenever a woman she's giving birth, number one, she first gives birth to the spirit. So you as a mother, you don't you give birth twice. Number one, if you give birth once, you will give birth only to the body, and the body without the spirit is a cop. So the spirit must be able to take up its place. Give birth to a fellow spirit and the same spirit must be imparted, must be breathed in, in the body. So you have two birthdays. Number one, you were born in the spirit. There is a set time that you were born in the spirit. Number two, there is also a set time on the earth that you were born. That's the reason you came on Tuesday. What about all these days? Why did you come on Friday? Because it was written on the earthly law that you must be born on this day. There is a law that a woman must give birth at what? At nine months. So does it mean that if I want a baby at six months I cannot have? <laughs> but in the prophetic, we don't work with time. That's the reason. One day I saw a woman. I saw a woman. She was, she was six months pregnant. I said, you are go going to give birth. I said, you are going to give birth. You are going to give birth to a bouncing baby boy. This boy, he'll be so fat. He'll be born with 4.2 kgs at six months. Which means prophetically, it is possible, it is possible to create the whole universe in seven days. It is possible for you to get pregnant, to get pregnant now and to give birth tomorrow. You are not getting this. <laughs> it is possible for you to get pregnant now and give birth tomorrow and the baby will be born no more. What I'm about to teach you, these are so complicated. Very complicated. Now, he said there's time for everything. There's a time to be born. And there's a time to die. Imagine there is a time set for somebody that he is going to die at 15 years. Now the prophet appears before Hezekiah with a bad news. Telling him that you must prepare for your time has come to die. It is written on the earthly realm that your life, your life span will reach to 65. That is a law set for you. Which means everyone here, there is a tag on his head. Of when they will die, the day. And what kind of clothes they'll be putting on? What kind of, what, 
kind of a car they'll be driving. It is written on the earthly realm. But the Bible says after the prophet declared and the man began to cry to the Lord. He said, oh Lord, at least remember me of what I did. Amen. And the Bible says then God had to send the same prophet who declared bad news was the same prophet who came to reverse the prophetic. Uh -huh. So, I receive. I receive. Now, you're supposed to die tomorrow. You're supposed to be fired tomorrow. And you meet a man who's so prophetic. And he tells you that you, you are not going to be fired. In another way, we enter the office of your boss. Now, we erase every record. It looks to be normal. It looks to be so confusing. But you must understand that prophetic people are not limited by time. Huh? They are not limited by every laws. They are not limited by buildings. Even now, there is a possibility for me to disappear. Amen. We are prophetic people. We are not limited by time. We are not determined by what the earth has set for us. That's the reason we are very dangerous people. Very extraordinary people. There was a man called Philip. The Bible says he was ministering, ministering, ministering. And the Bible said the power of God touched him. The man disappeared. The man was prophetic. We live a prophetic life. Amen. That's the reason even people, they cannot even, they cannot even understand us because we are prophetic. Amen. Our rising up is prophetic. Amen. Our eating is prophetic. Yes. Oh my God, am I talking to somebody here? Oh yes. Our rising up is prophetic. Ah. Our marriage is prophetic. Amen. Our churches are prophetic. Amen. We are like we. You don't know where it came from. Ah. And you don't know where it is going. Ah. And you listen to me here. Yes. That is a life of a prophetic person. You are not determined by your today. Amen. Even today something bigger, something mega, ah. something extraordinary ah. can happen in your life. Amen. Say I am a prophetic person. I am a prophetic person. Say I am a prophetic person. I am a prophetic person. Adam did not have blood. Adam did not have blood. And Adam was not born. And Adam did not grow. Adam did not. Where, where do you hear that Adam grew? Tell me, Deep. where do you hear that Adam grew? Eh? But you on the earth here, there is a law that you must grow. Uh. It is possible for you, to, for you to have a child and they grow in two days. Uh. Ab Adam, where, where is it written that he, he grew? The man he was born big. He was born as a grandfather. He was born as a what? You are not hearing this. Where, 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 where do you hear that the man was drinking milk? He was eating porridge. Where? But your child needs porridge. Now I'm asking you, where do you hear Adam eating porridge? Custard. Where is it written? You must understand that Adam was born prophetically. Amen. He was not born based on the natural laws. He was born to contradict the natural laws. The man was prophetic. The man had no blood. The man 
had no blood. Who is, his, who is, who is the father of Adam? God. Where did he remove the blood? Where did he remove the blood? Which womb did he come from? But you need a womb. That's the reason you must understand even Jesus was prophetic. The birth of Jesus is pro You can't just understand it with your medulla oblongata. You will try to understand. You will, you will go bonkers. There are things that are beyond your mind. There are things that you just need to allow the prophetic to take its, its cause. Amen. Mm. So it is possible for you to even become a general manager of that company. Even now. I receive it. Look at you. I receive it. I'm saying it is possible for you to become a general manager. I receive. Even when you are not qualified. I receive it. Even when you are speaking Zulu. I receive it. Have you ever seen Zulu managers? Ah. They are speaking Siyabonga, Siyabonga. Ah. Everyone, everyone is hearing them. They are looking for cash. It ah. is not the mother speaking. Ah. It is the cash. Power. You are not hearing this. I've ever seen a person who is who did not even go to school. His English is bad. His face disoriented, discattered. But the man is prophetic. He's able to sign for deals. The man is so prophetic. Amen. Let me tell you, prophetic people are not afraid to enter places yes. where people did not even enter. Yes. You, you are not prophetic. That's the reason up to now you are still poor. You are still poor. Poor people are not prophetic. Tell your neighbor, poor people are not prophetic. Poor people are not prophetic. Tell your neighbor, poor people are not prophetic. Poor people are not prophetic. There was a man, but the Bible says there was a man by the gate called Beautiful. And the Bible says this man was expecting arms from what? From Peter. That's the only thing. The man was not prophetic. His, his mind, it was only about eating. There must be, how do you see people who are not prophetic? The only thing they think after this service, eating. Chisanyama. <laughs> prophetic people. People who lack the prophetic, you will see them. I'm telling you. Bring a poor man. The only thing he's thinking is to beg. Even if you give them money, even if you give them money, you give them six billion, six billion, check them tomorrow. They'll become the poorest, even the poor will call them poor. How come? Which means the poor, they don't need money. They need the prophetic to handle money. Tell me, I need the prophetic. I need the prophetic. To handle money. To handle money. That's the reason you can't, you can't even manage your house. You are not prophetic. You are not prophetic. Eh? You can't change your Brazilian hair. Can't change. <laughs> can't change it. Six months, it's been there. <laughs> Six months. <laughs> your, your, your office, your office, your office, it has been the same. It has been the same. Years and years. Do you think there are no other positions? Prophetic, look, every time when I enter a place, I access what new thing I must implement. Prophetic people. Same style of preaching. As a pastor, you need to be prophetic, otherwise you'll be making your members to sleep. They'll be coming with blankets. Have, have you ever seen uh, pastors who preach and then members are sleeping. It's like the pastor is, is a distributor. In the church you hear. <sighs> ah. Say so remember, I am prophetic. Say so my rising up is prophetic. People must, look, people must not know you. People must not predict you. 
the prophetic hides your life. Amen. You can't predict me. You can't. You can't predict me. Be prophetic. There's time to be born. Time to die. And time to rejoice. Which means if you must be happy, it must be in your time of happiness. No. It doesn't work like that. I must be happy at all times. Amen. Even when things are bad, I must be happy. Amen. You're prophetic people. You enter in the fridge, there's no food. You say, you fridge, I bought you I am prophetic. I bought you to carry sausages and meat. Amen. What are you doing here? Uh -huh. You are not hearing this. There are some of you, your fridges are like a coffin. like 100,000. I just forget. I forget 100,000. And I remember maybe after 8 months. Ask. After 8 months, that's when I remember that I had money. Yet I was looking for money. Prophetic people. So one day I was looking for money. I said, what am I going to do? And I looked. There was nothing. I took my suit. I put them on my bed. I said, you suits. The reason why I bought you with pockets. You know, here it is. I bought you with pockets to carry money, not to be empty. And I, I, I spoke to the suits. I'm prophetic. You suits, you must produce my money now. After a few minutes, when I was taking the suits, back. I saw money dropping. Kabazupa. I see. Prophetic people, even the suits obey them. Even, even the chair obeys you. I reach a level. I reach a level. I reach a level. I reach a level where I can disappear. And some of if if I if I disappear here, boom, you see you see on the news, you see on the news, prophetic people, you know prophetic people, it becomes very normal for their pastor to disappear, for their pastor to prophesy, it becomes very normal because they see it every day. But for somebody, but for somebody in the church who has never seen how I prophesy, when I say, you, you are born, you are born in this, they are not prophetic. They are not prophetic. There is a level where, there is a level now, you are rooted in the, pro it becomes normal to prophesy. Amen. It becomes normal to have money. Amen. It becomes normal to drive expensive cars. Amen. Reach that level. We don't work with time. Even now, things can change. Even Amen. now, everything. I was telling somebody. Remember, I was telling you that we're going to open the, what, the channel when? On the 10th. Huh? The channel is opening tomorrow. Wow. Power. 
We are, we are prophetic people. We are what? Prophetic. When I entered my closet, God said, ah, my son, why can't you open it even tomorrow? For you, you must wait to buy a car 17 years from now. There is what we call an escos energy Amen. on your tongue. Any prophetic person must be able to command. Let me show you type of prophetic command. Ezekiel 37. Then the hand of the Lord carried me in the valley of dry bones and he sat me and they were very dry. And the Bible says he caused me to walk by them. Then he asked me a question, son of man, can these bones live? And I responded, son of man, I responded, O oh Lord, that thou knowest. Then he said, Son of man, prophesy. And the Bible says, As I was, as I prophesied, as I was commanded. I prophesied as I was commanded. The first dimension of the prophetic is commanded prophetic. The first dimension of the prophetic to move in a, in a world of possibility it is to reach a level of commanded prophetic where it is no longer you now prophesying. I stopped prophesying long time. Stopped. I stopped healing long time. I stopped praying for the sick long time. Long time. Now, there is a command on my life. Whenever I want to speak forth, there is another command behind me. And if you want your prophetic, you want to grow in your prophetic to command things to happen in a twinkling of an eye, you must be able to know how to operate in the commanded prophetic. You just speak anyhow. Any Even what God has not said, you speak. It's a commanded prophetic. Stand up. Sit. Stand up. The reason why you are behaving like this, you sit and you stand up, is because you were able to adhere to my instruction. So the manifestation of signs and wonders is based on the fundamental principle of command. <laughs> you want to do exploit in ministry? You must be able to adhere command. Sit down. Have you, have you ever seen me sometimes? I'm moving. I'm praying for people. Praying for people. I reach on this person. I want to lay my hand. It's like my hand. It's like it's stiff. I want to lay. I'm willing to lay my hand. But there's another command says not this one. <laughs> Are you listening? Which means not everyone you must lay your hand on. Not everyone must be your friend. Not everyone you must do business with. I don't prophesy to everyone. That's the reason. If I want to prophesy, I also look. Who is God commanding me to prophesy? So you are here. You must pray that God must command me for your prophetic. So you, you, you think you just come here and say like, ah, Papa, you will prophesy. You did not even pray. You are eating uh, my Jesus. This is a problem. You know, people are not prophetic. They are not prophetic. They just came here. They just came here by divine coincidence. No prayer, no prayer, no fasting, no fasting. And they want to meet a man of God. They are not prophetic. Prophetic people, even before they meet a man of God, they started at home praying, wow. fasting. Amen. That's the 
reason you come here six months you are not meeting the servant of God because you, you, you are too physical you are not prophetic how come that one person you okay 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 imagine imagine you are seated on the same line the prophet will come and prophesy one two three four five as he's about to reach to you he turns <laughs> I've ever seen such kind of things You begin to ask yourself, why is it that I don't receive? You are not prophetic, my brother. You are not prophetic. My sister, you are not prophetic. And you begin to ask yourself, oh, what did I do? You did not do anything apart from you not being prophetic. You are not prophetic. I, Prophet Didi Isaac, any great man of God, the moment they look at my eyes, they will know that this one is different. Amen. There's uniqueness. This guy, even my look, it will tell you that I am prophetic. Amen. I enter the bank, I look at the bank manager. He's not looking at me like I'm a warawala man. No! The prophetic gift of a man has the ability to open up doors for him and present him before great men. Amen. You can have a gift, but if you're not prophetic, your gift will cause you to be rejected. Tell them, be prophetic. prophetic. Shake your neighbor, tell them, be prophetic. Be prophetic. Tell them, be prophetic. be prophetic. So you must understand, commanded prophetic. There are things that God commands you to do for you to be prophetic. Okay, 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 okay. What, okay, what, what must I do, what must I do to be prophetic? Number one, I've given you, I've given you, commanded prophetic. There are things that you must do for you to be prophetic. Now, let's look at those things. What are they? What are they? Number one, your prophetic character. You have a character, but you are not prophetic. I refuse to prophesy to you Sunday. I refuse, eh? Yeah. Know that I did not have a prophecy. I told this lady, I said, you are not ready to receive my prophecy. That's what I say. Not what? Ready to receive my prophetic. Do you know what she did? She went. She went away. She went away. That already, it is a sign that she cannot receive. A prophet tells you, you, you are not ready to receive my prophetic. And you just keep quiet. You keep, what are you keeping quiet for? You are lacking the prophetic character. Now, the commanded prophetic needs the prophetic character. There are things to do before a prophet. I refuse to prophesy to her. Do you know Florence? Do you know Florence? Who is Florence? Eh? Eh? Are you doing business together? Eh? Who wanted to open a saloon? A saloon. A saloon and a boutique. Go deeper. Okay, what business did you want to do? Myself. Yes. I wanted to... I wanted to calculate what I'm speaking and I want you to look at me. What business did you want to do? I wanted to do cross-border business. That is wrong when you're speaking to a prophet. You don't speak like that. You know, if I want to prophesy to you, I've already gauged. I've already gauged who you are. Amen. <laughs> don't think I don't know you. I've already known who you are. Now, when I ask you, it is an opportunity, not that the prophet doesn't know. 
I am giving you I'm giving you an opportunity now to offload because you have been waiting. Look, there are thousands of people they are looking for the same prophet. Amen. And you have an opportunity. Oh. Ha! If it was me, ha! I'll tell you, prophet, in fact, my mother, prophet, in fact, my car, yes. my prayer request, yes. look at it. Yes. Number one, number two, yes. number three, yes. number four. Yes. Prophet, for five years, things are not working for me. Oh. Please do something. Yes. And you, you begin to look at your boyfriend. <laughs> now, what I've just done, I've given you an opportunity. You wanted to see me, isn't it? Go deeper, Papa. Hey, do you want to see me? Yes. Huh? Yes. Where do you want to see me from? Just here, Papa. Huh? You want, where do you want to see me from? From here. From here? Yes. Are you seeing me now? Yes. Huh? Yes. So Talk what I was supposed to do in the office, this is what I'm doing here. Yes, Papa. So the service, the prayer. Look, there is nothing like office prayer. Prophesy, prophesy, Papa. Tell me about no office prayer. You don't receive here. You never receive anywhere. You never receive anywhere. I have discovered any prayer that I've ever offered in my office is not powerful. That when I offer a prayer, when I am on my altar, Kaso I receive it. I receive it. There is power on the altar. So when I give you an opportunity, speak out. It Amen. is an opportunity now. He, the prophet now is looking at you as you are speaking. As you are speaking, the prophet is hearing you. You are opening up the heart of the prophet. Amen. That's the reason most people, you quench, that's the reason the Bible says, quench not the spirit of prophecy. How do you quench it without the prophetic character? The prophecy can be right, but you are a prophecy quencher. You're not prophetic. You're not prophetic. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. So what do you want God to do for you? I want God to do everything for me. Everything is not going well with me. Do you know? Do you know how people behave? Eh? Do you know how people behave? Yeah, don't worry. I will deal with that today. <laughs> we will deal with that today. She will become not a Pentecostal, she will become a born again. Amen. Amen. How? That's the reason I'm targeting her. I know, I know, I know. Don't worry. I've got the prophetic hammer. Now, when a prophet, when a prophet comes close to you, I know some of you get blank. You get blank, you be like, oh, what is he going to talk about? Oh, this man, I think he's going to mention about my boyfriend. Hey! <laughs> he does not what it does not matter. Allow the will of God. Yes. Allow the mind of God yes. to be unfolded to you. Ah. Whether he's going to mention seven ah. things, let him mention. Aya. Amen. There are some certain people. They say, no, no, no. That prophet is embarrassing me because he mentioned my ex-boyfriend. He mentioned no my ex, my ex-boss, my ex-mother. It does not matter in the prophetic. Prophecy, it is the plan of God. Yes. It is the revealing yes. of the plan yes. of God. Professor. So whenever I come to you, I am doing the work of charity. It's like you are an orphanage and I'm a giver. Amen. Are you listening? Yes. Now, your voice is needed. Amen. You, your name is a, it's true. It's true. What you have just done there, you have killed the prophet. You see, when I'm, when I'm prophesying, you will see I'm very fast. Amen. Huh? Amen. You will see I'm very fast. I'll be saying, you, I'm seeing this, I'm seeing this, I'm seeing this. And uh, some of the things I will mention, you don't know them. Because prophecy, it is not just past, present. It's also of the future, of the things that you don't know. Amen. When I mention your past, it means
means that God wants to sort out the mess God in your past. God deeper, Papa. Amen. When I mention your future, it means God has a purpose for your life. Oh. When I mention your present, it means you have confidence with God that God oh. knows you. Imagine I mentioned you work at such kind of a place. You now know that what I am doing, it is a right thing. Prophecy. Tell about we are prophetic people. We are prophetic people. Have you heard? Yes. So I'm coming for you part two. Power. Clap us for Jesus. Say I'm prophetic. Say I need a prophetic character. There are things that you are commanded to do. When the Lord is speaking, prophetic character. Don't be able like a manager. Don't be able like a general manager. Don't be able like a general man. There, you know there are people. There are people I, I just don't know. I don't know. That's the reason I love Nigerians a lot. Nigerians. Oh my God. Say you. Your name is Chibozo. Oh, it's true. It's true, it's true, man of, oh, man of God, you, you are a real man of God. Just name. But you, we mentioned phone number. Are you listening? Parosia ba. Listen. Wow. Listen. Prophetic people. A Nigerian, you say you, you were born in this face, they will look at you like who is this man? But here in South Africa. Mention the name. You your name is also like um, Your name your name is Jacqueline. Your name is Jacqueline. And then the person will be like, um, no. My name is Jacqueline. <laughs> Your name is what? Jacqueline. No. My name is Jacqueline. Then what is the difference between Jacqueline and Jacqueline? Huh? You know, they, they try to understand the prophetic using their medulla oblongata. It does not work like that. Whenever the word of prophecy is coming to you, huh? allow God to do his work. Huh? Let him speak. Don't hold him. Allow him. Yes. That's the reason most people who are meeting prophets in the Bible, they said, Master, only speak a word. No pray for me. Huh? Speak a word. Amen. Speak a what? And as he's speaking a word, no, not just keeping on. Mm, yes. Yes. Mm -mm. When he's speaking forth, you are confirming. Yes, man of God. It is true. What you have said, it is true. Even yesterday, this is what happened. He will mention some things that you don't know. If you don't know them, keep quiet. Say, prophesy more. Amen. I told someone, I said, you, yesterday. I saw you yesterday, this and that, and I see tomorrow, this is what is going to happen. The person said, no. I see, I see, I see this, I see that. They will fire you from work. The person said, no. She went to work. First thing, they gave her a firing letter. She came to me and said, Papa, Papa, I want you to pray to your God so that they can take me back. I said, you regarded me as a false prophet. So now you want to see my God. Your duty it is to receive, not to detect. Receive. The Bible says, he that receiveth, receiveth. How do you receive? With a prophetic character. You don't just receive with prayer. You receive with your heart. You receive with your hands. Amen. You receive with your body. Amen. You receive with your voice. Yeah. Prophecy, 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 prophecy. Do you understand prophecy? Prophecy, prophecy, 
prophetic character. You know, let me tell you something. No more people die no more death. Do you know that I'm not normal? I carry seven senses. That's abnormality. Imagine I come to you. I'm beginning to mention your ankle. Do you think I'm normal? Huh? The one who died. I'm mentioning your uncle, his name, what he did, how many wives he had. Do you think he's normal? No. Huh? No. Let's get a mad person. Do you know mad people, they eat from the rubbish uh, and they get fat? Let's try you. Right away, Corella. Because you are no more. You are no more. You are normal. That's the reason you die. People, they can put poison for you. But the Bible says, believers shall drink deadly things. Yes. Huh? They shall drink poison and poison will make them fatter and fatter and fatter. They are thinking you will die tomorrow. You are getting fatter Amen. and fatter Amen. and fatter, Amen. getting stronger Amen. and stronger Amen. and stronger. Amen. They put you a trap. You jump the ah. trap. Are you listening to me yes. here? Yes. We are prophetic people. Amen. Somebody put poison for me. Somebody put poison for me. I took it. Bah. And the person was waiting for me to die. The person waited for the whole day. <laughs> May your enemies wait forever. I receive it. You are not hearing this. May your enemies wait forever. I receive it. Let them continue waiting. Say, when is he going to die, this person? Huh? When are they going to fire? When are they going to fire this man? They will wait on the gate forever until they get tired. Amen. So they put poison for me. My eyes closed up. I became blind. And the person, I was having a queue of people. They were waiting for me. And I said, we are prophetic people. Even with, even, even while I am blind, I will still prophesy. Yes. Are you listening? Amen. I called people, I began to prophesy to them. You, you were born. So blind man. Mentioning, no, this is what I'm seeing. We don't prophesy based on our physical appearance. Amen. We prophesy because it is our spirit which is prophetic. Amen. That's the reason. If I touch you like this, if I touch you like this, I'm very prophetic. If I touch you, I say, stand up. Say, I begin to mention you. This is what I'm saying. Because I'm a prophetic man. Even if when I come close to you, my spirit itself is very prophetic. Amen. If I spend with you two hours, I'll be able to know where you came from, what you did, who you are, where you work, what is God saying about you. God will be able to reveal because we are prophetic. When, when you are not prophetic, you will sit with a man, with, with a man who is assigned to kill you and you will not know. You'll be laughing with him. He say, hee, hee, hee. Yet the man is planning to kill you. That's the reason pastors who are not prophetic, who criticize the prophetic, they end up dying. They end up dying. Dying. The church elder will be just against this pastor. And the church elder will be like, I will show this pastor. The church elder will go somewhere, make a concoction. The pastor loves tea and cappuccino. Prepared by the church elder. <laughs> and the church elder will come majestically with a stomach. Papa, 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 papa. The church elder, pa, is drinking. Do you know what he's drinking? He's drinking his own death. Huh? He's drinking his own death while he's, he's laughing. He's dying while he's laughing. Ah, for me, you bring your tea. For where? You put concoction. Before, before I drink, I say, Kubalia Duza. Le Rush Atusa Galia. So, you, hey, <laughs> Balagia Zupa. They are, they are holding the cup of poison. In the cup, they are expecting you 
to drink, you are just holding it and speaking in tongues. Now they are asking themselves, why is he not drinking? Why is he not drinking? As just from nowhere, you take the cup, you give it to someone. Or you give it to them. <laughs> Power. <laughs> are you listening? Amen. Huh? You give it to them, you say, taste you said it, you will see, like, ah, no, you know, I'm in fasting. No, it's no fasting. <laughs> Prophetic people, and you listen to me here. You must be able to detect, to discern who, who is around you. What kind of a person? Who are you dealing with? I have seen devils in human form. I have seen people that can put poison for men of God. That's the reason I don't trust any man. I trust God for man. Amen. <sighs> Say, I am prophetic. I am prophetic. If it is you, you just drink everything without even praying. Sometimes me, they bring water like this. I'll look at it. That's the reason we have got five senses. We have got five senses. The sense of taste. It's a prophetic sense. You put poison for me, the moment I taste the water, my tongue itself has power to know. How can you as a child of God, they put poison for you, you die. Imagine, they put poison for you, you are coming with a swollen belly. Where is the Holy Spirit? Where are your five senses? That's the reason. I've been in South Africa here. I've never seen, I've never seen people following me. Never, nowhere. Sometimes I'll be with my family. I detect, before I go out of this building, I detect. What is God saying? I check in the spirit. I say, is there someone who is waiting for me? Eh? Where? Where? The Holy Spirit will say, oh, he's a such kind of this place. Don't use this route. I use, and they are waiting for me. They have ambushed me. Say, Every day, he uses this route. This day, I'm using another route. Amen. You continue using that route. Are you listening? Amen. I, I check. Even when I'm in the service. One day. One day. I think I was with my protocol. I was with my protocol. I was praying, 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 praying. Moving around. Every time when I see danger, there's something I see. And that God gave it to me. Every time when I see danger around me, I see, I see a certain light. And that light will begin to just blink. I know that here I'm in trouble. So I saw that light eight times and the Lord they said, go in the office. I just saw the people lift up their hands begin to pray. As they were praying, I left. I went in the office. I was asking God, God, what are you saying? Why am I seeing this light? And the God they said audibly, he said, in your church, there is a man carrying a gun and now my duty now. Look, we are having thousands of people. And I don't know who is having a gun. Now the Holy Spirit must now direct me. That's the reason I'm able to pair all of you. The, the one who was born in June, put you one side. December, one side. I use what you call prophetic gymnastics. Amen. So when I was in front, I saw the light. I saw the light. Going one side, one side. So I was asking myself, now about that side, then who? Who? The Holy Spirit said, go that side. I will show you. They will not do anything to you. I was with them. I think I was with my, my brother. I just went to a man. I just looked at him. I looked at him. I said, I did like this. I zoomed him. Wow. Scanned him. <laughs> Are you listening to me here? And I looked at him and said, mm, Suspect. <laughs> Sir, suspect. I went again. That's the reason you see me when I want to prophesy. Whenever I'm prophesying, you see me. I take, I move slow because he orders my step. He will tell me, Take two steps. Stand there. I'm about to speak to you. Look at her. 
because it is not it is not my will is commanded he commands me amen so i took one step and god said stop stop tell him that behind is having a gun i said sir behind you you're having a gun remove it now remove it remove it and the man removed it and i said who sent you and the man was like oh, no no you know this one i use it you know i use it for 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 beds i said me i'm a bed <laughs> <laughs> you brought it in my what environment which bed are you looking for we have become beds now I gave him I, that that man I poured I poured the whole anointing on him. I gave him spiritual shoulder and spiritual headache. I, boom, the man had to fall down. For three hours the man was down. He did I, I made sure that the Holy Spirit captured him. Detention under the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Prophetic people are able to hold the boss. To sit on the chair two days thinking about you. Amen. How they are going to promote you. Amen. Palazzo Balia Gusaba. I receive. Let your boss think about you. I receive it. How he's going to promote you. I receive it. Are you listening? Amen. Tell me, I am prophetic. I am prophetic. I have a prophetic character. I have the prophetic character. The prophet is prophesying to you. You are, you are very quiet. Don't be quiet. Your mouth. Your mouth. Your mouth is an instrument in the prophetic. Are you listening? Amen. Number two. Prophetic character. Number two. Prophetic noise. Prophetic noise. Prophetic noise. Noise. The Bible says, as Ezekiel was prophesying, there was noise in the valley. Noise in the valley. So there is no prophetic without noise. In another way, noise is a code for the prophetic. That's the reason you see me. When, when I see people, when I see people, they are very quiet. I stop prophesying. I stop. I will even leave the microphone and go. And go. Not that the prophet does not want to prophesy, but the quietness of people is a prophecy quencher. So whenever there is prophecy, there must be noise. And that noise creates the prophetic environment. Amen. The prophetic environment. Noise. Your voice can cause a prophet to prophesy to you. <laughs> yes. Your garage is opened. Uh, your garage is open. Yeah, your two million. I receive it. I take it. It's released. You see? I said what? The two million is released. He's been looking for two million to buy a garage for cars. And all this time, he has been waiting. Waiting only for the prophetic way to be released. I have released the prophetic based it. on his noise. I receive it. What are you looking for? How, many, how, how, how much? You applied for how much? Power! Prophetic sharpshooter. Two million. Yes, now, baby. we must use the prophetic to enter the bank. Yes. Shabalona I receive it. Professor, are you listening? Yes. We enter the reserve bank. Yes. Using the prophetic. Ah. We collect our dollars. Yes. We collect our millions. Yes. We bring it to Africa. Yes. We put it in your account. Yes. Using the prophetic account. Yes. You shall do a prophetic deposit. I receive it. And you will do a prophetic withdrawal. I receive it. Power. Are you listening? That's what he's looking for. Two, only two million. For the garage. For the garage. 
for the garage. And this garage is big. It's big. He was just looking for two million. And the two million was revealed to me. Amen. And yet I was quiet. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Imagine the two million was revealed to me, yet I was quiet. I was only waiting for him to speak. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, it's my day today, my I papa. I was Woo! waiting only for him to speak. The moment he spoke, there was a connection with my voice to speak. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. That's the way things work. Thank you, Papa, for opening up my destiny. You are huh? my destiny. Uh, oh, Woo. hallelujah. <laughs> Professor! Okay. You applied with what? Absa, is it Absa what? No, Sifa. No, huh? Sifa. Sifa. Yes. Sifa. Yes. Is it a South African bank? Uh, no, it's a, it's a lending organization, government organization. A government organization? Yes, Papa. Can I ask you a question? Yes, Papa. Huh? What do you want me to do for you? Papa, what I want you to do for me is to open up my destiny, recreate my destiny. Whatever was shattered, I want you to create my destiny from now on, irrespective of everything else. Number two, I want you to open up my spiritual eyes. Number three, I want you to open up my spiritual ears so I can hear from the Lord. Number four, I want you, Papa, I want to save the Lord. All the millions. You lift can. up your hands, lift up your hands. It is done. Oh. Receive, receive, receive. I receive it. Receive, receive, receive. I receive it. Kasopenenes, I receive it. This is the way. Prophesy. Destiny deliver. That is the prophetic. The prophetic. Take, 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 take. I receive it. Take, take, take. I receive it. This is the way you receive the prophetic. I receive it. We are prophetic people. I receive it. Take the power. Take the power. I take, receive take, take. it. Jesus. That's my boss. People who are prophetic, they are receptive to the power of God. Yes. Most people are not prophetic, they will wait for the laying of hand. They just want Papa, Papa must lay a hand on us. Prophetic people, they don't need the, the hand of a prophet. Even when I just say, you. I receive it. You see, they are waiting. You. I receive it. You don't wait. You don't wait. That's the way things of God work. That's the way they operate. Because we operate on what we call the superlative divine prosperity. Amen. This level is a level where we are receptive to the supernatural. And the supernatural, it has metamorphosed in the natural. We understand how God operates Amen. in the prophetic so that we can have our prophetic manifestation. Amen. It's very easy. You know, look, it's very easy for a prophet to speak to you. It's very easy. But there are things to do. Prophetic characters. Prophetic voice. Amen. When I tell you, right now, lift up your hands, pray in tongues. Do you know what I'm doing there? I'm simply allowing your prophetic voice to speak to God so that my ears can open and hear what exactly. Because the spirit of the person can be able to speak forth. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart. The heart there is a spirit. Out of the abundance of the spirit, the mouth speaketh forth through the mouth. Amen. Which means your spirit speaks forth in prayer. Amen. So when I tell you, speak in tongues. I am simply allowing you to pour out what your spirit wants. Amen. It's a prophetic voice. Prophetic voice. Do you know the reason why you came, you came here? Is because I'm a prophetic voice. Amen. I'm a prophetic voice. That's the reason. Whenever you hear me pray, some of you, you feel like, you feel irritated. You feel, you feel just being, being annoyed. He's a demon. God is using my prophetic voice to bring prophetic deliverance. Ah. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Prophetic voice. Number three. Prophetic. 
prophetic receiving. Most of you receive, but your receiving is not prophetic. Prophetic receiving. You see, in the prophetic, we don't just receive with our mouth, but we receive with everything. The way I move here, I move here, I move, I move, I'm moving people, and you allow me. Let me go in Nigeria, you will see whether I will remain with my shoes. They will go. Nigerians are crazy with anointing. With anointing. They are so crazy. They will hold your shoes, remove your shoes. Telling you. And they will hold the shoe in the church. be like, I receive. I receive. With your shoe. Are you listening? There was a man called Blood but Mayas. The Bible says he did not know Jesus. But the Bible says he began to scream loud. That's the reason. There are many sick people here. Sick people. But the one who's going to scream louder is the one who is going to draw my attention. You have problem, all of you here. But the one who screams loud. That is what we call the principle of selection. The principle of selection, you are 80 of you and the general manager will just come and select one. Principle of selection. You have all of you, you have problems, but I will just come and solve one. But how do you receive? Scream louder. You have problem, you are not married, you. You are not married. Eh? You are going to 70. You are going to 70. You are not married. And the man of grace is bypassing you. And you are still quiet. You are having your documents. You are having debts. The police is about to come and take your children. And you are quiet. You are sick. You are sick. You are sick, yet the prophet whom you have even heard that God is using me mightily is bypassing you. You are leaving him. Prophetic receiving is whereby there is Peter, there is Thomas there, there is Judas, there is protocol surrounding Jesus. And you say, even though there is protocol, I, I just need where he has stepped. I will just go and step there and begin to possess. Amen. I told a certain lady, I was putting on, I, I was putting some fruits on the on the altar. The reason I stopped is because people they were getting pregnant too much. <laughs> too much. And I said, mm -mm, this is uh -uh. even those, even old ladies. Those who are on family planning, all of them. I'm telling you. I used to put fruits. One day I took a fruit. I ate the fruit. And after I ate the fruit, I gave it to my daughter who was barren. And I said, my daughter, eat this fruit. And you know what she did? You know what she did? She said, no, I don't want to eat. And I took it. I took it. I finished it. I finished it and I left. I said, you have just rejected your child. What you have just done now, you have just rejected your child. If you, have, if you had eaten, it is not your physical, it is your spirit. Amen. And I said, that's the reason you not have a child. And she came, no, Papa, so what must I do? I said, you have missed your child. The time when I have grace, you should see me. One day I'm in the church, church, we, it was a fruit, fruit, fruit Sunday. I said, bring your fruit. All of them they brought. Only her, she did not bring. 
and I took the fruit that I had. I gave it to her. I said, eat. I want you to know that me, even without prayer, you can still have a child. Even when I, I don't pray for you. Even, even when I, come here, come here. Can somebody stand? Stand, stand up. Look. Wait, I want to show you. Stand, stand. I just want to show you. Look, what will happen. Do you see this? Huh? Huh? It's not my prayer. <laughs> it's not what, my what? Hey. Pow! Huh? It's not my what? It's not my prayer. It is now my personality. Amen. So some of you, you think it's just about praying. You know, I just want the prophet to pray for him. No! Even sometimes when he's walking, just touch his shoes. He says, I receive it. I receive it. I receive. I, I receive. receive it. This is the way you do things. Amen. You enter his house. You sit where he sits. You'll be like, Kaparakata. I, I, I partake. I possess Amen. whatever is in this house. Amen. I am going with it in my Amen. house. Amen. Yes. You don't receive because I'm laying my hand on you. I personally discovered most people that I lay my hand on, they don't receive. Then how do you receive? Some people they explain, oh Father, oh, 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 Mulela Jesu Christu, oh, how little no faze, oh, kacheku, oh, ndate, ndate, oh, oh, fam kokoto, ah, ah, wena. It's not, it's not prayer. It's not prayer. It is, it is, it is how receptive you are to the anointing. It's how receptive you are to the anointing. That's the reason you see, you will see. Okay, 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 okay. You stand. You, you stand. I want to show you something. I want to show you an example spiritually. Come here. Come here. Come. Stand here. Come. Make a line. Face, face me. You stand behind. You stand behind. This is what happens in the prophetic? I want to show you. As I'm in front, how many people am I seeing? One person, but behind him, there are what? There are two. Plus him equals to three. Whenever a prophet says, You receive. This is your biggest problem. It's your, you, your hands receive, but your spirit don't receive. That's the reason. It's normal. It's, it's normal for you. That's the reason. You see when a prophet points to somebody that is very sensitive, you will see others even falling, even jumping. Because the power has touched them. But those who receive only with their hands, it is normal for them. In their mind, in their mind, it's just a few minutes, I'll take my hands down. But those who are prophetic, they don't just receive with their hands. They receive even with their heart. Amen. The receiving of the heart is permanent. Receive. I receive it. It's a force. You know, it, look, look. I have a force. Whenever I throw it to you, it has the power to throw you if you are very receptive. Now, I want to show you a sign. Look, look. I'm in front. I'm in front of him. Now, I want to show you this is a biggest problem. Look, I'm just in front. 
Look at me. You see this? I will not pray. I will not pray. But I want to throw the power. And some of you, the power of God can bounce. I can throw the power to you. I say, take your money. And it bounces. I take it and put it in my pocket. Spiritually. That's the reason when I say, receive. I receive it. I'm able to know. Because it's no longer your head. Look. Do you see that? Now, who took the power? Who took the power? Okay, stand here. Stand here. I want to show you. You come here in front. Come the same way you are. Just stand there. Now, I want to show you. This is a spiritual, this is a spiritual exercise that you must know. Do you see that? Huh? Stand. Another one, stand behind. I want to show you. You see that? Look. my heart. What I can feel it. Feel? The heat. Huh? The heat. Which heat? Uh, <laughs> Papa. <laughs> no, I need to ask you. There's too, too many heat. Even here, there's a light. In my quiet, no. There's heat. No, that is wrong. A wrong concept. Push <laughs> that. Stand. Stand up. Look at me. Jesus! Do you see that? There is a force coming from one point to another point. That's the reason I don't need to touch you. I don't need to lay my hand on you. 
if they need for it. You see that the power can make his spirit to jump. You see, sometimes I will have a lot of people and they surround me. When I just do like this, all of them will be flying like butterflies. Because it is no longer about touching. It's about how receptive you are to the power, to the anointing. Receive the anointing. I re receive the anointing. I receive it. Receive. I receive. Receive. I receive. Receive. I receive. Receive. I receive it. Receive. I receive it. Lift up your hands and begin to claim. Begin to claim. Begin to claim. Rise up. Receive with your heart and with your hands. Rusota i badala kazuta e mandala kira badala kibra sota rasuta la braha de la baha sota i braha de la kasata i rasota la ba masuta la kata i rasota la braha de kata mani Jesus name lift up your hands let me show you something different the last thing is prophetic prayers prophetic prayers how do you pray prophetic prayers Prophetic prayers is simply prayers of declaration. Declaration prayers. And how do you declare? You declare according to the word of God. You go back to the word. You say, it is written. I am the heard and never the tell. I am above and never beneath. I decree and declare. My life is blessed. Amen. My coming in is blessed. Amen. My children are blessed. Amen. This is the way you do prophetic declaration prayers. Lift up your hands and begin to do them now. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift your hands higher. I told you how to receive. I decree and declare. 
I receive. I decree and declare. I receive. That the hand of God will carry you to places you have never been. I receive. That the hand of God will make a way where there seems to be no way. I receive. That the hand of God will cancel every struggle over your life. I receive. That the hand of God will introduce you to destiny helpers. I receive. That the hand of God will break every curse over your life. I receive. The hand of God will break every premature curse over your life. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. 21 people hearing the sound of my voice. I receive. Whatever has taken other people 17 years to achieve. I receive it. It will take you seven days. I receive. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I receive. I open your destiny. I receive. I open your life. I receive. Every satanic power. I receive. That has hindered your destiny. I receive. From shining. I receive. You shall shine this month. I receive. You shall shine brighter and brighter. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. 21 people. I receive. As you are receiving prophetically. I receive. I decree and declare. I receive. In this month of signs and wonders. I receive. You shall see what you have never seen before. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Even where you may reject it. I receive. They shall look for you. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. As your hands are lifted. My God. I receive it. Lift up your hands. I want you to see the power. Every man that the devil said you would never go anywhere. I receive. You don't know how to receive. I told you how I to receive. I receive it. Any man who the devil put in a coffin. I receive. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I receive. I remove your name. I receive it. I remove the name of your children. I receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive it. You are growing stronger and stronger. I receive it. I say you are growing stronger and stronger. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. As your hands are lifted. I receive it. You will never come down again. I receive it. <laughs> you people. I receive it. You will never go down again. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. Lord, I pray for your people. I receive it. Lord, I pray for your people. I receive it. Lift up your hands. Power of the Holy Ghost. Touch. 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 Power of the Holy Ghost. 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 Touch. 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 Power of the Holy Ghost. 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 Lift your hands and pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Lift your hands. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Pray in tongues. 
Mandalika Rosutaba Hadriti, Masuta la Hada la Kiradada, Manira Sopada la Kazata, Rasuta la Hadelikato la Bosha, Masita la Karazata la Ida, La Suta la Bra, Masuta la Rekara Suta la Bra, Hadelikato Tale Bosha, Rakuta la Kita, Masuta, Irata la Kida, Malo Suta la Katea, Rosota la Hada. Malai Karada, Asuta Likata, Masuta, Rika Talahisata, Malasuta la Kadadiza, Marasata la Katiza, Rosota Ika Rosota, Malakita, Malarisa Pala, Risata la Kima de la Zita, Malakusa Adalakira, Masuprahina Adalakira Madaliza, Lisopa Ina had la Kastata, Lirusop Ina had la Kamadiza, Malai Karosata de Bosch. Lift your hands. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. You thank him with your voice. Thank him with your voice. Thank him. Jesus. When I say thank him, you begin to say, Lord, I thank you for my family. My situation is settled. That's how you thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I bless your people. I receive it. They will never be the same again. I receive it. Let them grow stronger and stronger. I receive it. In Jesus' name. I receive it. All my viewers. Shh. There is a lady. You're watching me right now on uh, Facebook. Your name is Tabo. Your name is Tabo. You are a lady. You are a lady. Your name is Tabo. Your name is Tabo. And uh, you were divorced. You were divorced. And uh, the curse took about five years. The Lord says it is not over. Your husband is going to come back. And when he comes back, <coughs> receive him. It is in the will of God that you and your husband must live together. I pray for everyone. Received. I hear another person on Facebook by the name of Benjamin. 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 Benjamin on Facebook. Your name is Benjamin. Benjamin, you are from Australia. You are from Australia. You're watching me right now on an iPhone 7. On an iPhone 7. The Lord says that a long awaited miracle that you have been waiting for. You have been applying for a job, a job, and it has been three years now. Nothing is happening. The law says within 25 days from now, it will happen according to your desire. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. All those that are watching me on Facebook, as you are receiving right now, sending your likes, sharing the page, the Lord is sharing his miracle to you. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. Thank you so much for watching. DDTV Africa. And I believe once again, you have been blessed. I've got good news for you. Tomorrow, tomorrow, DDTV Africa, it is on and we'll be able to give you the frequency, the new frequency and tell your friends, tell your colleagues about the good news that DDTV Africa is back with full force. Now let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All this time, all this time, I've been, I've been relaxing. I've been relaxing. I've been relaxing. I've not been doing ministry. I've been face uh, testing people, this and that. This Sunday. Pow! I have just resumed for work. Hey. I have what? Tell me, but the prophet has resumed for work. The prophet has resumed for work. He's back. He's back. Tell your friends that.
prophet DD. Prophet DD. The HIV specialist. The HIV specialist. The panarobic seer. The panarobic seer. The one who sees the way it is. The one who sees the way it is. He's back in town. He's back in town. Power. Watch out. Tell your neighbor, watch out. Watch out. All those that are watching, I want you to know I'm ready for you. I, I feel it. I feel it. Amen. And I know it. I am ready for you. I have given you 75 days from now. When you come here, you will not find the space. Lift up your hands. Say, Father. Father. We pray for DDTV Africa. We pray for DDTV Africa. We decree and we declare. We decree and declare. It is an instrument. It is an instrument. Of deliverance. Of deliverance. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Shout amen. Amen. Put the two hands for Jesus. Oh. Thank you for watching. May the Lord bless you. Shalom, shalom. Put it to